In this video, we are going to see full wave rectifier with and without filter uh, for, for the bridge configuration. So initially we will take the power source, AC power source. Now place it here. Uh, then we will take the diode uh, uh, 1N 4007 we will take. Right so that we will take uh, and we will place it here then we will rotate the uh, rotate the diode by using the command control r we will rotate the diode right right and now like this we have the four diodes for the bridge configuration uh, so diode 2 and copy copy these two diodes and place it once again uh, for making the bridge configuration uh, we are we are doing paste like this and uh, uh, by the bridge config configuration directly you connect uh, with the wire right so so from the power source AC power source uh, we will say change the value as uh, 230 volt 230 volt 50 hertz supply now it is changed now this source is connected to the bridge diode bridge configuration it is connected now it is wrong uh, it must connect into uh, another leg right now we need to connect the load uh, initially we will take as a resistor as the load so this resistor is taken as load this uh, one, ohm, 1 kilo ohm resistor is taken as the load so to measure the voltage uh, we have taken a scope then connect the remaining part the resistor to the bridge rectif bridge uh, diode bridge configuration now uh, the voltage across the resistor is measured by the uh, scope that is A channel is connected to the uh, voltage across the uh, resistor. Then, uh, then the next one is uh, B channel is connected to the uh, source voltage. So directly we are connecting uh, B channel right. Now, uh, so in order to differentiate the colors in the waveform, uh, making the source voltage uh, wire connection as black. So I am making black connection, black wire connection in the source voltage to the CS scope. So I am making the change. Right now, the diagram is ready. Let us run uh, this this diagram. Uh, then we will see the waveform in the scope. So when I make the run, uh, the waveform is like this. So here uh, I am going to reduce the scale of uh, P channel so that uh, we have we have the waveform that is a sinusoidal waveform. It is there in the P channel, and A channel we have the output voltage that is a rectified voltage shown in red color. So here uh, now uh, we need to connect so this is without filter now I am connecting the capacitor filter uh, across the load to reduce the ripple content so uh, for that I am taking the capacitor uh, that is uh, uh, we will take a capacitor 1 microfarad and uh, 1 microfarad value so this uh, microfarad uh, this capacitor is connected uh, across the load so just uh, change the uh, orientation of the capacitor vertically now connected across the load now once, uh, after connecting this uh, once again we run this one uh, this program by having uh, so this capacitor value is changed as uh, 10 microfarad right now we will make uh, we will once again we will run this one let us see the waveform uh, what waveform we have so the see the red color waveform uh, the here the, the ripple content in the output voltage is reduced by having by connecting the capacitor value uh, 10 microfarad 
now i am changing the 10 microfarad farad value to another value let us take a 100 microfarad let us see what what waveform we will get i'm changing the 100 microfarad so it is changed now see the waveform once again uh, we are run we run the program let us see the waveform in the scope see see the red color waveform uh, it is somewhat it is almost uh, like a dc straight line with a reduced uh, ripple uh, so here the p channel uh, height is uh, 200 so that we will increase to 500 uh, so that uh, both the waveform are, are uh, so, so both the uh, a channel and b channel having same uh, volt per division so, so